It's an interesting issue we addressed at last week's Idea Centre meeting in Bedford. In what way might I articulate the product offer in a way that is compelling to the customer? Very specific issue for one of the members of the Idea Centre. I'm not sure you'll agree of generic interest to all businesses one way or another. The technique we used was bionics, and the bionics technique rather relies on the fact that nature, noting that nature has been around for quite some time all in all, has solved uh, a whole range of different and complex problems in a whole range of different but universally elegant ways. And what we're looking to do is to find a similar system that addresses the components of our particular problem under the focus and to try and learn from that as a metaphor uh, to get some sort of novel approach that one can transfer into real life. The first stage of the process is to, in relatively abstract terms, define the key components of the problem. And in this particular case, it's quite straightforward, really. It's one thing exerting an unavoidable attraction on another, or at least that's what we decided. Looked around for a number of examples in nature, different types and contrasting systems, and we identified three. Uh, the first of those was lavender bushes, attracting almost universally bees in a very effective, uh, compelling manner. Second system was magnetism, the fact that you have north and south attracting each other. And the third system was gravity, the fact that you have a compelling force for one smaller mass um, being compelled to, to move towards the larger mass by some sort of all-pervading force. All three obviously have their merits, and one could have taken any one of them and explored it in further depth, but we decided that magnetism uh, was the area that we'd focus on in this particular instance. And we started to play around with the ideas, and one of the things that we tripped over completely randomly was, of course, the fact that if you have your magnets the wrong way around, so that North Pole is facing another North Pole in another piece of metal, then rather than attract, you actually have a fundamental repulsion. Uh, things are actually pushing each other away, which is absolutely the reverse of what you want. But, and here's the key thing, with an intervention by uh, significantly shifting the orientation of one of the magnets, you can switch around from a strong repulsion to a strong and compelling attraction, which is exactly what we want, but you needed to do it by some sort of intervention. So, for the idea center, just as a generic target for this, rather than sharing specifics of the issue or the organization in hand, um, that made us think that maybe there are a choice of strategies that one could adopt in order to get attraction rather than just have a single strategic approach to sell your particular product or service, in this case the Ideas Centre, um, and noting that often it's the case that if the customer appears to be repelling your advances, then all you do is keep the same strategy but push harder. Of course, with the magnetic metaphor, then you're actually pushing against a fundamental repulsion which will get you nowhere. Um, maybe that what you need here is a, a series of different, fundamentally different strategies in order to sell. And that what you have to do is to identify which of those strategies one needs to use for this particular customer. So in the example here, I can think for the idea center of three different, completely fundamentally different strategies. One is, if you like, the Jerry Maguire strategy, which is show me the money if you've got a customer that cares little for the intricacies and the niceties and the psychological impact but it's all about the bottom line impact, and some customers are like that, then that's a strategy one that we ought to follow. Others maybe need to see the science within it. Now, I'm always very careful about the science and try not to dress it up in too much um, fancy language, but there are undoubtedly some customers that need to see the science that's underpinning the idea center approach, uh, the effect on the brain, the neural networks, and first and stage, second stage thinking and the link to various parts of the brain and all those good things. So maybe there's a scientific strategy which would work very well for type 2 customers but not type 1 customers. And then perhaps again there's a type 3 which is fundamentally different again uh, which focuses this time on people development. Uh, the idea that you're looking to nurture the culture in an organization is all very people centric. So maybe that's a third strategy which again is very different from type 1 or type 2 customers. It's made me think, made me go away and think that rather than pushing the one strategy, what I need to do is clearly define different types of strategy and then go through a process of identifying in the very early stages what kind of type of client I'm going to be approaching and then make sure I choose a strategy accordingly rather than just flogging the same old pitch. Interesting.